Japan, 1617, Hanzo Hasashi, Hiroyuki Sanada, lives peacefully in his compound with his wife Harumi, Yukiko Shinohara, Sun Satoshi, Rin Miyagawa, and other members of the Shirai Ryu clan. While Hanzo gathers water, assassins from the Lin Kei clan, led by Baihan, Joe Taslam, invade and kill the villagers. Baihan then targets Hanzo's family, using his ice powers to freeze Harumi and Satoshi to death. Hearing Harumi's scream, Hanzo rushes back, only to find their frozen bodies. He mourns briefly before defending himself, slaughtering the assassins with his blade. He confronts Baihan, who eventually drives a blade into Hanzo's shoulder. With his dying breath, Hanzo tells Baihan to remember his face. As he hears his baby daughter crying, he tries to reach her but dies before he can. A dragon-shaped mark appears on his arm as his body burns and disappears. Master Raiden, Tadanobu Asano, arrives with a bolt of lightning and takes Hanzo's daughter to another realm. Tex then explains that Earthrealm is threatened by Outworld, unless champions from the Hasashi bloodline step forward. In the present day, Cole Young, Louis Tan, prepares for an MMA fight, supported by his wife Allie, Laura Brent, and daughter Emily, Matilda Kimber. Despite landing some hits, Cole is pinned down by his opponent and taps out to avoid unconsciousness. After the fight, Jax Briggs, Mechad Brooks, approaches Cole, noticing a mark on his chest similar to Hanzo's. Cole dismisses it as a birthmark, though he is haunted by visions of Hanzo surrounded by flames. In Outworld, Baihan, now known as Sub-Zero, meets his master, Shang Tsung, Chin Han, to discuss their plans to conquer Earthrealm. Despite knowing a descendant of Hanzo is alive, Sub-Zero remains unconcerned about the threat. Cole and Ali take Emily out for dinner when it appears to start snowing despite being July. The table around Emily freezes, and Sub-Zero starts making his way down the street. He brings hail down on the people, but Cole gets Emily to safety. The family is saved by Jax, who drives them away and shows Cole that he has the same dragon marking on his body. Jax gets the youngs to safety and tells Cole to find Sonya Blade, Jessica McNamee, Jax goes off to face Sub-Zero on his own, but the foe proves to be a real threat when he freezes Jax's gun before freezing and shattering both of his arms and leaving him for dead. Cole has Ali and Emily get somewhere safe while he seeks out Sonya. He tracks her down to a junkyard where she initially attacks him until Cole shows her the mark and says Jax sent him. Sonya brings Cole into her trailer where she explains to him that Sub-Zero has been after other people who bear the mark. Sonya doesn't have it but Jax does after they came across a superpowered target that Jax fought who already had the mark, and after killing the man, the mark passed itself onto Jax. Sonya's research has led her to find out about an ancient tournament known as Mortal Kombat. Sonya has captured a ruthless mercenary named Kano, Josh Lawson, who also has the mark and worked for the Black Dragon Clan. Moments later, Sonya's home is attacked by Shang Tsung's henchman, Reptile. The creature uses camouflage to attack, but Kano gets free and punches his fist through Reptile's chest, pulling out his heart. With her research destroyed in the attack, Sonya doesn't know what the next move is until Kano states that he knows she is trying to make it the Temple of Raiden, and he knows where it is. Sonya lies to Kano and offers him $3 million to help guide her and Cole to the location. They head off into the desert where they are met by one of Raiden's champions, Liu Kong, Ludi Lin who has fire abilities. He explains to them the urgency of defending Earthrealm since they have lost nine of the Mortal Kombat tournaments. And one more loss means Shang Tsung can arrive to conquer it. Liu Kong shows that he has rounded up the remaining champions that he could, including Jax, who is still unconscious from his fight with Sub-Zero. Liu Kong assures Sonya that the other people working in the temple will do what they can do heal Jax. Liu Kong brings Cole, Sonya, and Kano to meet Raiden who is unimpressed by them. Before they begin training, Shang Tsung arrives at the temple with Sub-Zero and his demonic henchwoman Melina, CC Stringer. As Sub-Zero attacks Liu Kong, he is saved by his cousin, Kung Lao, Max Wong. Shang Tsung prepares his own attack, but Raiden steps out to remind him that it is forbidden to claim victory before the tournament has begun. He then creates a force field around the temple to prevent the outworld villains from continuing their attack, forcing them to leave. Liu begins to train the champions by helping them unlock their inner power, or arcana, 
which is why he has fire powers, and Raiden has lightning powers. Sonya is not allowed to join the others because she is not one of the chosen champions. She goes to Jax's side, where he is awake and discovers he has mechanical arms. Although he attempts to make use of them, he feels useless and weaker with them. Cole and Kano get their asses beat by Liu Kong and Kung Lao. Liu Kong tries to help Cole achieve his arcana by figuring out what it is that drives him. The fighters have dinner, where Kano runs his mouth too much, and Liu Kong and Kung Lao antagonize him by stating he is impulsive and powerless, making him an unworthy fighter. Kano snaps, which actually activates his arcana and causes him to fire a laser beam from his right eye. Cole later talks to Raiden about the dragon marking. Raiden explains to Cole that he is descended from Hanzo's bloodline, specifically from the baby that Raiden rescued in the beginning. He also tells Cole that the vision he sees is Hanzo wandering through hell, waiting for the day he can get his revenge on Sub-Zero. When Cole feels that he is not a worthy champion, Raiden opens the portal to send him back to Earthrealm to be with Ali and Emily. Shang Tsung gathers more fighters for his next attack, including the demon Natera, Mel Jarnson, the monstrous Prince Goro, Angus Sampson, the brutish Reiko, Nathan Jones, and the mercenary Cable, Damon Harriman, who has a personal grudge with Kano since they used to work together with the Black Dragon Clan, and Kano left Cable for dead, forcing him to wear his special new suit. Cable does also feel that Kano would be a good ally for Shang Tsung's army. Cable meets Kano at the temple and convinces him to defect and join forces with Shang Tsung. He uses his laser to destroy the force field. Shang Tsung and his minions attack the temple, while Garo goes after Cole and his family. In the attack, Sonya fights Melina, but the latter chooses not to kill Sonya because she is not a chosen one and feels her death would be a waste. Cable fights Liu Kong and overpowers him. Jax fights Reiko but is overpowered, and the brute knocks him and Sonya out before attempting to crush them under a boulder. Jax tries to lift the boulder off Sonya, which helps him find his arcana and causes the arms to grow in size and strength. Nitera swoops down for an attack, but Kung Lao fights her and performs a fatality by using his metal hat as a buzzsaw, slicing Nitera in half down the middle. Flawless victory. Meanwhile, Goro is laying coal into the dirt, until he starts to make his way toward Ali and Emily. Feeling the need to protect his family, Cole's arcana is unlocked, with his body being covered in golden armor and allowing him to create blades to help him fight Goro, first slicing off one of his four arms and then impaling him through the eyes to kill him. Raiden senses this and summons Cole back to the temple, revealing his bloodline to Shang Tsung and Sub-Zero. Raiden prepares to bring the champions to the void for protection, but Shang Tsung grabs Kung Lao and sucks his soul out, killing him and forcing Liu Kong to watch. No. Nope.